Look, this is a 2020 PSLE science paper, question 32. Oil is spread on stagnant water as shown. That's oil, water and mosquito larva. Explain how this prevents mosquito from breathing. So the student need to indicate that this layer of oil actually blocks the breathing tube of the mosquito larva so it can't take in oxygen and it will die. Okay, I want to highlight to you this section which is the part B is a very high order thinking skills questions. Let me zoom in for you to see the questions clearly. It says that malaria is a disease spread by mosquito A. Children infected with malaria are found to be bitten more often by mosquito A. Joel wanted to find out if children infected with malaria are more attractive to mosquito A due to a certain smell that they produce. He used the setup as shown with 20 of mosquito A in box P. So this is what I tell students to do annotation to underline or highlight the important parts. So they say that this mosquito A actually infect children with malaria. And this is called the AE, which is the aim of the experiment. So what is the aim? The student need to underline to find out if children infected with malaria are more attractive to mosquito A due to a certain smell they produce. Okay, I like to give some personal comment because the way the sentence is being phrased is actually disadvantage to students with a poorer English competency. Because you can see this is quite a long sentence and there are many ideas inside. So actually to be simplified, they should say that mosquito A is actually attracted to children with certain smell. Okay, children with certain smell. So in this experiment, you can see here in the diagram, box P, and they have this white shirt worn by children infected with malaria. And these are 20 mosquito. And then if you read here, Joel counted the number of times mosquito landed on the shirt for three minutes. He repeated the experiment using another shirt worn by an uninfected child in box Q. So to make it visually more able to understand, I drew this empty space here to draw box Q. So visually the student need to picture, there's another shirt hang here, white shirt, worn by children that are uninfected. So they say state a hypothesis. Okay, students need to understand what is a hypothesis, okay? On how the smell on a shirt affect its attractiveness to mosquito A. I find the questions quite funny, okay? Attractiveness to mosquito A. That means if somebody got some body odor, right? This body odor will be, attract, will be attracting this mosquito A to sting him or her. Okay, what is the hypothesis? Okay, if you see in MOE process skill, right? As I mentioned earlier in my YouTube, Formulating hypothesis is the most difficult skills in the MOE primary science process skill. Formulating hypothesis. That's mean in, in these questions, the students need to think of what is the expected outcome of the result of the experiment. So look at this student, he wrote this answer. Shirt with malaria smell because I believe this student is being confused by this long sentence. So it's not malaria smell, it's actually the mosquito with the malaria virus, right? Is attracted to people with certain smell, or this mosquito is attracted to certain body odor. Then they go and sting the person with this body odor. Okay, it's not the malaria smell because it's not the smell of the mosquito, it's the smell of the people that the mosquito can detect and they're going to sting those people with this body odor or this body smell. So I said that these questions is unfair to children with lower English competency. So please take note MOE. Okay. And hypothesis form formation is the most difficult science process skill as I've written in my page eight of my science Bible here. 
I could term this science bible because it has helped many students over the year to master the section B very challenging questions and these are things which examiner wants the student to uh, be able to digest to explain to describe to state so what's the answer for these questions these very high order questions and let me direct you to the model answer so this is the model answer as published by the publisher and i can kind of accept this answer so they say state a hypothesis right on how the smell of a shirt affect its attractiveness to mosquito a so this is the model answer in part a mosquito more mosquito a will be attracted to a shirt if it has the smell released by malaria infected children so this is a hypothesis so that means when they do this experiment they expect this will be the outcome this will be the result of this experiment can you see here white shirt worn by children infected with malaria so this is the hypothesis more mosquito a will be attracted to a shirt if it has the smell released by malaria infected children so that means in box q which the publisher did not print right so box q will have a white shirt there and then also have 20 mosquito inside but the shirt doesn't have the smell or doesn't have the body odor of children who are infected so we may do the calculation and maybe there's a table here that shows because they say joel counted the number of times mosquito landed on the shirt for three minutes so maybe in box queue in three minutes right maybe the mosquito landed there 50 times so in box queue right maybe in three minutes but the mosquito only landed 10 times so this is one expected result which is called a hypothesis which i repeat here more mosquito a will be attracted to a shirt if it has the smell released by malaria infected children okay so let's move on to part B, this part. Joel used a white shirt instead of a black shirt for the experiment. Suggest why using a white shirt allows him to obtain more accurate results. So you have to see, I've highlighted here, white shirt, more accurate result. Okay, so it's not that the mosquito prefer black shirt, although this is like, some sort of like a folk tale that you will wear black color mosquito will come and sting you but that need to be proven scientifically okay why they use white shirt because uh, the student need to understand that mosquitoes are black in color so if you use a white shirt when the mosquito land or the black mosquito land on the white surface right it's easier to be seen it's more visible so that's the reason for a section for this section so the model answer should be a white shirt will allow Joel to be able to see the mosquito clearly and count them accurately. Using a black shirt decreases the visibility of the mosquito due to the mosquito being camouflaged by the black color of the shirt. Okay, so this is suggest why using a white shirt will result in a more accurate result. So there's some sort of comparison needed. So the student need to state why use white is better compared to black so white is because white background black mosquito on white background can be seen and counted more easily compared to using a black t-shirt or maybe a dark color t-shirt they will make the mosquito less visible okay this is the last part part three joel recorded his result in the table number of time mosquito landed in box p the shirt in box p with which is seen here, this box P. That's mean have the smell of the children infected with malaria. And then in box Q. So can you see there's a decrease in number, which is actually in line with the hypothesis. So now this is a application questions, which I stated here. This is a hot question. Hot means higher order thinking, which requires application. And I believe that usually these are questions less than 20% of the cohort. Each cohort is about 39,000 to 40,000 P6 students will get it correct. 
So this student left a blank here. Perhaps he was being overwhelmed by the questioning. So they say, scientists are able to store the smell produced by infected people in a certain container or in a container. Suggest how Joel could use this smell and his result, this result here, to reduce the number of bites on people. Okay, so now the student got to understand, uh, as I said, this is a high order thinking skill. So how to have less bite on people? Because you see people produce a smell, uh, this one cannot be controlled. Maybe it can be controlled through dieting or through fasting, through exercise. But how to control the smell? So the student need to understand that in order to reduce the number of bites on people, right? Logically, the population of mosquito must drop. Okay? So they need to elicit suggestion how to reduce the number of mosquitoes biting people. So this is a very high order thinking skill. So perhaps the student may think, hey, maybe I use this smell, right? To get attract the mosquito to a certain place. And then I send my warriors uh, to kill the mosquito. So indeed, this is the result the examiner expect. So can you see here, this is the model answer. It says, Joel's result, which is this result here. I try to zoom in, yes. Joel's result show that mosquitoes are attracted to the smell produced by infected people, which is true. 300 times they landed. Okay. It shows that the mosquito are attracted to the smell produced by infected people. The container which stores the smell produced by infected people can be used to attract and trap. I don't want to trap, I want to kill them. Okay? To attract and trap mosquito, which then lead to fewer bites on people. So this is one possible answer that I think it's quite difficult for students at P6 to understand. So do take note of my solutions given here. So to make it simple, use the smell to attract mosquito and kill the mosquito. So people will be, uh, less people will be beaten because have, the population of mosquito has decreased. So I wish you all the best in your coming PSLE. Do not be worried and I look forward. For those who need extra help, you can consider purchasing this book from me at One Academy. My contact is in the YouTube contact in the description. So take care, God bless and stay safe.